It's one of the most successful and common parasites in the world. As a cat parent, we know that toxoplasmosis can seem like a really scary thing, but a few common sense precautions can greatly decrease your risk. Hello and welcome. Today we're going over everything you need to know about toxoplasmosis in cats, including what it is, who's at risk, how to prevent it, and how it affects flushing your cat's litter. My name is Charlotte. And this is Callie. And we're here to help raise the standard of living with and caring for cats. If you're a cat parent and find videos like this helpful, go ahead and click subscribe right away. It would mean a lot, and we've got tons of educational videos. If you've looked into flushable cat litter before, chances are you've come across the term toxoplasmosis. It sounds scary, but there's no reason to be alarmed as long as you follow some simple guidelines. And just so you know, we've consulted a vet and gathered research from vet-reviewed websites and scientific literature to make this video. Let's get started. So what is toxoplasmosis? Toxoplasmosis. Put simply, toxoplasmosis is an illness caused by a single-celled parasite called Toxoplasma gondii. This parasite must infect a cat to complete its life cycle, but it can infect humans and other animals too. It's one of the most successful and common parasites in the world, but there's little reason to be alarmed by it. Infected people and cats with healthy immune systems are almost always asymptomatic. So how do cats get infected in the first place? The answer is through infected meat and other cats' infected feces. Outdoor cats can contract the parasite by hunting wild prey or ingesting contaminated water or soil or poop. Yuck. Indoor cats, on the other hand, usually get it from eating a raw meat diet. Once the parasite has reproduced inside of its feline host, the cat will shed eggs in its poop for one to three weeks. These eggs will take at least 24 hours to become infectious, so scooping your cat's litter box every day will dramatically decrease your chance of contracting it. It's also super unlikely to get infected from direct contact with a cat because they only carry the parasite internally. So who's at risk for toxoplasmosis? There are two main groups who need to be careful, immunocompromised people and pregnant people. For the immunocompromised, toxoplasma is more likely to cause illness and health complications. For those who are pregnant, being infected for the first time could spread the parasite to the child and possibly cause health issues for later in life. The CDC recommends that people at risk should avoid cleaning litter boxes completely or use gloves, but the risk overall is quite low. As we mentioned before, most healthy people will experience minimal symptoms, if any, and this applies to cats as well. The vet we talked to said that toxoplasmosis is not a common thing to see in her practice, and a few common sense precautions can greatly decrease your risk. So how to prevent toxoplasmosis? Here are her general recommendations. Keep your cat indoors if possible. Don't feed them raw meat. Cook your meat to at at least 145 degrees Fahrenheit. Like cats, undercooked meat is the most common source of infection for humans. Clean the litter box daily, rinse fresh produce, and wear gloves while gardening. If you follow these simple precautions, you don't have to be overly concerned about toxoplasmosis. Finally, let's answer the age-old toxoplasmosis question. Can you flush your cat's litter waste? We make a flushable cat litter that you can learn more about here, so we get a lot of questions about this. The answer is it depends. If you wanna flush your cat's litter, make sure you check all these boxes. Your cat lives indoors and is fed commercial cat food, your litter explicitly states that it's flushable on the packaging. You live in a region where flushing cat litter is legal. Make sure to double check your local regulations. On the other hand, you should not flush your cat's litter if they go outdoors. Raw or undercooked meat is part of their diet, including table scraps. Your litter does not explicitly state that it's flushable. You live in an area where flushing cat litter is illegal, like California. According to our vet friend, as long as you follow these guidelines, the outbreak risk from flushing litter is very low. And those are all the basics. As a cat parent, we know that toxoplasmosis can seem like a really scary Thing. but we hope this video can be helpful in showing that it's easily prevented. If you're in the clear to be able to flush your cat litter and you wanna make the switch, click the video on the screen to get our top five flushable cat litter brands. We go over the pros, cons, and price point for each to help you make the best decision. So what are you waiting for? Go check it out.